back to my channel. I am Susie and today's video is a very highly requested video. Um, a few weeks ago, I think, or months ago, I uploaded a video talking about my food substitutions and how I've been maintaining a healthy lifestyle. If you are new to my channel, I have lost 100 pounds and these are items that I found throughout my weight loss journey that have helped me live this healthy lifestyle and not gain all my weight back. Um, if you have been following, you know that I just ended a cut and I did gain some weight, but it, it was all intentionally trying to build muscle. I am now cutting again and trying to slim down. So I'm just going to show you guys more items that I found that I didn't show you guys in my previous video. If you missed that video, I'm going to link it down below so you can go ahead and watch what I showed you guys in that video. So before I begin, I want to tell you that not because these items that I'm going to show you are healthier, that means you can eat unlimited amounts of it. No. Food still has calories, it doesn't matter if it's healthier, if it's not healthy, it still has calories. And if you eat too much of anything, it's not good for you. And it's always important to have balance. So these items that I'm going to show you, I'm not sponsored by them. I really truly buy them with my own money and I feel like they have helped me maintain this lifestyle and not ha not feel like I'm living a restricted, boring lifestyle because who wants to be eating chicken, broccoli, veggie, salads their whole life? I know I don't. And I believe that because I found things like these, is that I've been keeping my weight off and been enjoying my lifestyle because honestly I love my lifestyle I, feel, I don't feel like I'm dieting I don't feel like I'm restricted so we're gonna start with carbs because who doesn't like carbs if you like carbs like this video because I know we all love carbs and I'm gonna show you guys my alternatives because just like you it's really hard to live without bread without all those you know things that make you actually feel like you're full so starting off with bread I have not bought white bread or eaten white bread in a very long time. I've been in this journey for like six years, so I'm not eating that. But pretty much the bread I always eat is this one. I always show it in my full days of eating in my um, Instagram. And these are by this brand, Oasis. So they have two. They have the low carb flexi, which is the one I buy the most. And then they have the low carb veggie this one is really good because it has like seeds and it has like little veggies in there and it's so good like it's an avocado toast with um, avocado and egg oh my god bomb daily so these are my two breads of option why because they are lower carb and I can eat more of them some breads are even though they're whole wheat they're still really high carb like 20 grams of carb per slice and I prefer eating more volume food I prefer eating more food with less calories so I can feel like I'm eating more and not dieting. That's like another hack that I do. So this bread, this bread has 50 calories, 1 gram of fat, 7 carb, 1 fiber, and 4 protein, which is also pretty high protein. If, you, if I eat 2 slices, it's already 8 grams of protein. So these are my top, top favorite breads. I find these at Grocery Outlet. Um, this time they were on sale, they were 150 So what I do when they're on sale, I buy like a bunch and I freeze them and they taste just the same when I toast them frozen, so good. Um, but normally they run about three fifty to four dollars. You can also find it at Sprouts, and that's the only places I've seen in grocery outlet and Sprouts. Another good option. Um, these are more common. You will see them more like Walmart, Target, and stores like that. This one I found at the nine nine cents store, believe it or not. And this is the white multi green. It's only pretty forty calories per slice. For two slices, it's eighteen carbs. I know Sarah Lee has uh, like 45 calorie bread as well, so that's another alternative if you don't have those stores near you or they're too expensive for you. Another bread that I bought and I'm almost done with it actually. It, you're supposed to keep this one frozen because it's like it goes bad really quick since it's all it's all natural, it's probably grain. Um, it's this one by Ezekiel. It's pretty popular amongst you know. It's pretty popular. This one's a cinnamon raisin, but they have like many, many, many types. And um, this one is higher carb. It's one slice is 80 calories, and it's 18 grams of carbs for one slice. So basically, for two slices of the other ones, it's less carbs than this one. But it is still good. It's all natural, sprouted grains, nothing artificial. And um, I I have these mostly on leg days, my higher carb days. I'll just have like one of one slice of this one and one slice of the lower carb one to keep it balance so this is another good option you can find this one at um, Trader Joe's Sprouts if you don't find it in the regular bread section look for it in the freezer because they're supposed to be refrigerated okay continuing with the carbs 
tortillas. I get a lot of questions, especially from Latinos. Tortillas. I can't live with the tortillas. I need tortillas to eat. I know because I grew up in a family that I, we would like seriously eat and we would just mindfully be eating tortillas until we were full. My mom would always tell me, eat tortilla pa que te llenes, or eat tortilla so you can feel full. And that's a really horrible thing to do, which is why I was overweight in the first place, and because I listened to my mom, because I mean, we're supposed to listen to our parents, right? Anyways, corn tortillas, regular tortillas are not bad. Um, if you eat one, that's fine. If you eat two, maybe. But when you just eat and eat and eat, you can easily eat like 60, 80 grams of carbs in one sitting. You're not really realizing what you're doing. These are my other favorite that I always, always buy. I find these at Walmart. That's probably the only place I've seen them. It's by Extreme. And these are high fiber. It's more like a flour tortilla, but it's whole wheat flaxseed. And I love that it's really high fiber when I have these. Oh my God, my bowel system loves it. TMI, sorry. 50 calories for the whole thing. 1.5 fat, 60 grams of carbs, but 11 are fiber, which is amazing. And four grams of protein. I like to make like breakfast burritos, um, wraps, anything that requires tortilla quesadillas are so good with these. I always recommend these. Or another option, which is like a bread, but I use as a tortilla, is this pita bread by Joseph's. This one's at Walmart, that's the only place I've seen it. And they have like other things like wraps, I think, and other items by this brand. And it's really good, I really recommend this one. And it's basically like, a, it's like a pita pocket. You open it and then you, you can fit things in there. But you can also use it as a tortilla. Also, if you toast them, I've done it before too. If you toast it in the oven for a couple minutes, it becomes crunchy like a tostada and it's so bomb. So tostadas. I found these. These are horneadas. Usually tostadas are fried. These are just baked. This is a really good alternative. Um, so there is healthy options out there. We just have to really look for them and try them. And for three of these, it's 150 calories, 30 grams of carbs, three protein, and 1.5 fat. So each one is 50 calories. Other carb sources that I love and I always have is these rice cakes. These are the lightly salted and you can make these savory or sweet, whatever you want. I've eaten them with peanut butter, with um, uh, avocado, with whatever you want. And they're really low calorie too. They're 35 calories per rice cake and they are 8 grams of carbs and it's basically just brown rice or these two that I just found at Food for Less by the way these are everywhere you can find them at Walmart, Target, anywhere I, I got this one at Aldi and these ones are from Food for Less and these are basically the same but these are thinner so they're half of the calories so one of these is like 20 calories so here they are this one broke but they're so good super good so as far as spreads I love these. These are like the knockoff from the Laughing Cow Cheeses. I like them because they're already portioned. Like every wedge is 25 calories, which is really convenient if you don't have time to be measuring your servings because it's important to look at servings. These are only 25 calories per, per wedge. I know they look small, but they actually have a lot in there. Like sometimes one wedge is enough for two slices of bread. Or this one from, it's a Greek cream cheese. This is blueberry. Um, I've seen this at Walmart um, and Grocery Outlet. These are higher protein than regular cream cheese and lower fat, so this is a real alternative. Something else that I love and I am obsessed and I have it almost every day as well is the Walden Farm Syrup. This syrup is literally bay, like I love it. And it's the only low calorie syrup that I found that I love and this is actually zero calories. So this is really good. Um, you can find it at Sprouts on Amazon, so Walden Farm Syrup. They also have other products, but I really don't, I haven't tried them, I don't feel like it, so I'll just stick to the syrup. Let's talk about ketchup. This one I found at Target, I believe, or Walmart, that's no sugar added. You have to be careful with ketchup because it has sugar added. If you have not turned around and read the ingredients, it has corn syrup or I don't know what it has. But this one is just one gram of carb for, per serving. Regular ketchup has like, I think like five or six grams of carb. You can just easily like overdo it with the ketchup, especially when you're eating potatoes or whatever. So watch out with that. An alternative for white rice, which again, is not bad, but you get a really small amount for the high amount of calories and carbs it has. So I stick to cauliflower rice. This one's already frozen and um, riced. You can do it yourself. You basically just blend the um, cauliflower until it looks like rice. And I just pan fry it with some corn or I have different, um, every day is different. I don't always eat it the same, but this is a really good alternative. One cup is only 25 calories, okay? So really, really good. And lastly, my favorite, favorite 
I don't drink any monsters, walksters, or any energy drinks or pre-workouts. My favorite is Celsius, and I am not sponsored again, but oh my god, this flare specifically, I think it's new. They're bomb. They they are like the perfect amount of caffeine. They give me the perfect amount of energy. Um, when I have a lot of caffeine, my head starts hurting and I feel dizzy, but this one is just perfect. It just gives me the just right amount of energy I need for my workout or to study or whatever, and I absolutely love it. It also helps you burn fat because it has green tea. It has no high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame. I love it. Zero sugar, zero everything. It's only 10 calories, which is nothing. I absolutely love it. It has vitamins and a bunch of things. So definitely, um, a, lot, a lot of people ask me where I buy them. Either GNC, either the gym, either there's a warehouse here in San Diego called Pro Body Warehouse, but they're super, super cheap there. Like They're like the cheapest. I've seen them anywhere. A vitamin shop, any, I feel like supplement stores should have them. They're bomb diggity. I almost forgot, I already put everything away, but I almost forgot this. It says, this video was mainly focused on carb substitutions, like health, healthier carbs. Um, I forgot to add this, which is important because pasta is something that a lot of people love, but again, it's really calorie dense and really high carb and high calorie. And even the whole wheat, Pasta is not good because the for the amount you get is really really calorie dense. So I found these. I've been eating these for a while now, maybe for two years, and I love them because first they are made out of beans, so they are extremely high in protein and low in carb compared to regular pasta. Let me show you. Two ounces, it's 180 calories, three grams of fat, 19 carb, which that will never happen with regular pasta, and then the fiber is just amazing because like I said, it's made with beans. 11 grams of fiber and 25 grams of protein. That is amazing. These are amazing macronutrients for pasta. And it tastes just like pasta, like the texture, everything is just like pasta. You can prepare like pasta. You don't really need to add protein since it already has protein, but I love it. I found these at Grocery Outlet. I've seen them at Sprouts, at Aldi. And I'm not sure where else, but any of these products, if you can't find them, you can, I'm pretty sure they have them in Amazon. So that's going to wrap up this video. It was mainly focused on carbs. Um, I do want to make one of food substitution or food swaps for um, how I kill my sweet tooth because I'm really like a girl that always has a sweet tooth. So I can show you guys my, the sweeteners I use, the protein bars, protein cookies, and how I do to deal with that because I'm a human and I have sweet tooth too. So I hope you guys stay posted for that and I hope you guys enjoy this video and got something out of it. Um, all these videos are just made for you guys to learn and maybe get some ideas. And I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting there what I eat and different products I find. So be sure to follow me there and turn on your post notifications. I think it's that little bell that's up there somewhere. That's going to let you know when I post a new video because I, I post randomly. I don't have like a set schedule since I'm so busy all the time. And if you guys have any more foods that you guys want me to find a, a healthier alternative for, let me know and I will definitely try for you guys. Thank you guys. I love you guys. And remember, do what's right, not what's easy. And make yourself proud every single day. Bye.